think about all the things I got to do going to high school and my first date, going off to college, getting married and starting a family. I look at my children and I think, you know, that, that might not have been. That Sunday, I was at church and I was throwing up and my kidney was hurting really bad. I met the band of my dreams. I went to college. I have a beautiful, beautiful two-year-old. They gave me a chance to have a child. We flew in by air ambulance and he was um, already paralyzed. I've been able to grow up to have three wonderful, wonderful children. I've been able to do so much. I survived. I have a reason to be here. I have a purpose to life. I was really sick. They said I could have died. It's been 27 years since my diagnosis, and that's 27 years of life that I've got to enjoy that I might not have got to enjoy. Now, after going through so much, you learn to appreciate every second of your life. They said that I have a very rare form of cancer, and they told my mom and my aunt that I have a 15% chance of living. They told me I would probably have no children. I've got two boys. I remember my mom brought home a, I think it was a bouquet of flowers, and I opened it up and it said that I didn't have to come back anymore. Tumor was pressing against his spinal cord, so they had to get the pressure off before they could do anything. So once he recovered from that, he immediately went into chemotherapy. Being sick all the time, having no energy, losing your hair at 11. You have no strength. The only thing you have is your hope and your faith. I think about that all the time. What would happen if chemo didn't work? Keep on believing, keep on trying. I always say you gotta laugh to keep from crying. It's pretty hard, but as long as you got God with you, you can push through anything. Once you start getting your strength back, it's like a, a new birth. The greatest, greatest, greatest gift, gift and gift has given me is faith, hope, to make a difference, life, life, my son's life back, hope, my health and my life, another lease on life in another chapter. I was from Mexico, and I knew that I was safe in St. Jude, and I didn't really want to leave. This is a nice place, and the nurses and doctors are very kind. Okay, they've done this wonderful thing for me, so now in turn I want to go and do good things for other people. St. Jude's is the only reason I'm alive. I asked the oncologist of where they would send their child, and they said St. Jude. In my heart, down deep in my heart, that I should start thanking St. Jude back for what they did to me. So many kids have walked through those doors and have come out survivors and gone on to do so many great things. This makes me very thankful. Thankful that uh, Danny Thomas had the vision that he had so many years ago uh, to, to found such an institution like this that would give me and, and, and thousands of others uh, the chances that we've had. The greatest impact is the advancements they have made to cure this, this disease. Well, I have all kind of dreams for Daniel. That's why doctors from all over the world, patients from all over the world come here so we can find a cure. I want to be a doctor because of what St. Jude did for me. You're helping save a child's life who's going to grow up and be a doctor or a nurse or a lawyer or, you know, anything. They can be anything if you help, help them to survive and live. I want to be a white scholar so I don't want to grow up. I want to be either an RN or a child life specialist. I'm here today because of those before you that, uh, that supported me and my family that many years ago.
they have given me so much. I don't even think I can give as much back as they have given me. Look to the future. There's still children dying of cancer every day. And until St. Jude can say, hey, we've got to close our doors. We've cured all of them. No more children are dying from these, you know, catastrophic diseases. The fight has to continue. Don't ever stop. Don't ever stop exploring, trying to find a cure. Because, I mean, life is precious. And until you've about lost it, you never know. My name is Tyler Cruz. I'm David Shankles. My name is Danielle. Morgan McCann. Daniel. Leslie Taylor. Billy Carson. Jalen Schmidt. Deidre Mayfield. Jabria. I'm 28 years old. I'm 36 years old. 14 years old. I'm 23. I'm 5. 30. 37. I'm 10 years old. And I am a St. Jude. St. Jude. St. Jude. St. Jude survivor. Patient. Survivor. Survivor. Patient. Survivor. I'm St. Jude based. Survivor. Survivor.